All right, guys, so recently Andrew Tate went on this podcast with a bunch of girls and they basically discuss a bunch of different issues like the number one problem with men and women today, which is actually what we're gonna be checking out. Andrew Tate's usually a smart guy who knows everything, so you think he's gonna be right? Yeah, Yeah. Let's 100%. Be honest. All right, let's get into it. So my first question is what is the number one problem facing men today and what is the number one problem facing women today? I'm gonna say something. Come on, ladies. Everybody's gonna say, you know, me. The, the number one problem. Ask all the questions. Come on, tell the me. The number one. All right, so he's gonna let the girls tell their answers so he can be like, yeah. can, so you're wrong. Wrong, wrong, <laughs> wrong. The problem with men is that they don't tell women the truth, and the number one problem with women is that they can't, they can't handle the truth. Simple. You know what? That's that a good is answer. very accurate. That's a what the fuck? That was a that's very. That's a great good. answer, but she's old, so she gets it probably. Oh, yeah, she understands. She's yeah. not she's the modern day so feminist. So men can't tell the truth, and women can't handle the truth. That's a great thing to say. Yeah. yeah. That, that's a good that's a good paradigm to start from because it's actually very interesting you say that. A lot of women say, I just want a man who's honest. And then the second you're honest, she's like, what? You did exactly. what? She's like, well, don't ask me for honesty. Of course I fucking lie. Thank you. So that's yeah, good. that's... So he just agrees, okay. I, tell me the truth. Tells her the truth. What, what, what? the fuck? <laughs> that's a good point. I agree with that one. Mm. That, I don't think it's the biggest problem, but it certainly is a problem in relationships today. That is a problem. The biggest problem with men today is that I think the world is becoming hyper-competitive. Most men are not aware and understanding of how quickly there's going to be a genuine shift in between those who have things and those who do not have things. I mean, personally, I'm trying to be on the side that has things. Let's let's be honest here. I think that's what we all yeah, want. Yeah, we're all fighting for. Just, you know, not all of us are working to yeah. get there. There's finances, but also female status, everything else. And it's a status game, right? And it's becoming harder and harder for men to play. <coughs> and that's all women's fault, of course. I just love the way he says things. <laughs> it's just, and obviously, you know, like women, it's just their fault. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's why they find him offensive, you know. But he what? does it on purpose. He, he's yeah, like, he does. He said it before that he does it on purpose. It's but it's so funny because the girls are like, "What do you mean it's all women's fault?" And he's just laughing in his head. No, it is because women choose the winners, right? I can't wait for her to say something. Give a shit about men. Of course they don't. They they give a shit about themselves. And and and, and, a, and a woman oh and a woman when she, and a woman a woman if you ask. She's mad, she bro. She's man, fuming she's already like, on the side. Much. I just want to find a nice man who's a millionaire and six foot tall and funny and charismatic and interesting and spontaneous and looks after me and doesn't cheat and and it's funny and good looking and strong i don't want much like they, they <laughs> i don't want my moves i would accept someone like thor maybe a little less than thor but you know yeah. that's not much right i only want to be making a mill a year like it's not even that much right? oh my god it's like I, I just don't think people understand how delusional that is you know what i mean like how delusional you have to be to be like like we're, forget the money forget money forget all that even to be six foot tall is a top 15 percent man so let's just say you as a woman is saying i wouldn't it doesn't matter what everything else is i would never date a man under six foot you have already eliminated 85 percent of men just by doing one thing and that's not saying that he's six foot two six foot four that's saying at least six foot if you're saying i want it to be at least six two or three you're going into the top five to ten percent that's not even is he good looking is he funny is he uh smart is he handsome does he make a lot of money like that's not even going into the important things that's just how tall is he so the delusion is crazy but... and if you want to have those preferences that's completely fine but you can't be useless yeah you can't be fat boring and expect well, that you're, you're right? absolutely right like you can't like as an example if you want the top one percent you got to be the top one percent yeah you're right? the top one percent and there's like, levels we, there's we, levels we talk about this like we understand that our position in life as a young man we're both 19 is not strong as in a girl who is 19 our age right who's a dime 10 out of 10 good can do can cook can clean is a nice girl why would she turn our way when she there's some 25 26 year old who's made the money. Like, imagine us when we're 25 versus now. You know what I mean? That's the comparison you just have to make, guys. Yeah. Think of yourself when you're 25. That would be us being a 10. Yeah. We and we'll, can't be and a we'll, 10 right And then now. the 19-year-olds like us, will they'll look at us and we'll be like, hey man, just, hey G, just wait your turn. Just wait till you're 25. You can get in, but like we're we're just waiting our turn. You guys are definitely all waiting your turn, and some of you guys won't even get a turn. So that's just, <laughs> that's just how the that's just how the game is. But it is what it is. They name all this shit that most dudes are never gonna have, and it's becoming harder and harder. And you end up with people, top G's, who own everything on the planet they could ever possibly wish for, and then you got other guys who have nothing. And you're, there's this large divide. There's no longer any middle ground. You have dudes who can't get any pussy, and then you got dudes who are just blocking girls left, right, and center. And that's what the problem with being a man is today. What about the women? <laughs> what about them? Well, I, well, the I would say, well, everybody's got a chance to talk. I'm gonna shut up and have my Clementine. No, I wanna know. I wanna know. I wanna learn from you, sir. 
You want to learn from me? Well, yes, I wanna, sir. Well, I wanted to answer. I feel like it goes for both. It's not just one or the other. I feel like it's self-accountability. Mm. Women are not accountable for themselves. I agree with you there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I just love it, man. It's so funny. I love how he tries to piss him off. I think it's that hilarious. people aren't accountable. Works. In reality, if you were to say, yes, most people aren't accountable, but if you were to say who is less accountable, I think it's women. But that's, but then again, you have to put it into perspective like, okay, if there's a fat dude and a fat girl, okay, we've always said it, it's been said a million times, but I'll say it one more time. I'll be the mini million and first guy to say it, but go to a fat chick's comments and then go to a fat dude's comments on TikTok and tell me what the response is. And that'll just tell you who's accountable and who's not. It, it's just the reality. Women lie to each other so that if they're in a situation themselves where they want to be uplifted in a bad situation, they hope that everybody else uplifts them because they uplifted the other person. It's almost like a social kind of defense mechanism. Like, okay, I'll, I'll say you look good when you're 360 pounds and you should be on Weight Watchers because if I ever get there, hopefully you'll say the same thing about me. It's all a defense mechanism. Whereas a dude, let's be honest, you're fat. Get up. You're poor. Make money. You're a loser. You play video games. And men, even if they're some, a lot, sure, won't accept that reality. A lot more of them do than I think girls. It's both. It's both. It is definitely both. It is both. You're right. But society punishes men for not being self-accountable. Society does not punish women for not being self-accountable. I'll give you an example. If you're a man and you're arrogant and you think you're something when you're not, trust me, society will teach you very quickly that you don't matter when you don't get laid and you stay a fucking brokey. If you're a <laughs> chick and think you're something when you're not, you can run around with your ego, still get dates, still get laid, still have a fairly sensible social life. <laughs> society as a whole doesn't come along and slap you in the face with realizations. If you're a man and you think you're something you're not, it is a ticking time bomb until society teaches you a lesson. That's the difference. This is why men in general are more self-accountable because the men who are not self-accountable get fucked up. So those who are successful are very self-accountable people. They look at themselves and go, okay, the only way I'm going to get and progress further, the reason she left me, the only way I'm going to do better, make more money, etc., etc., is I have to change. I just want to give you an example that, that could apply to like, like imagine you, you did a bodybuilding competition like a few months back and you came third. It's his first, so obviously, you know, you could put it down to posing or, you know, maybe you just didn't have enough mass or whatever you believe it was, right? Th that's not the point. The point is that imagine you get off stage after receiving your placement and you're like, ah, well, I think my abs are better and you know, this I is, I have more way. abs and I'm better in this way. Bro, the judges told you, they're, they're the ones who judge. They told you where you are. Can you imagine like trying to defy reality in that way in your own mind? It's the same thing that these <laughs> people do. If you are a person who can't get laid as a dude and then you start going, well, it's all, it's everybody else's fault. Like you sound like an idiot. Look in the mirror, change yourself. And it goes for both sexes. If, if you can't get what you desire, it's probably because you're a loser. Yeah. You don't deserve it and if you work for it you'll get it like me and vlad aren't delusional enough to say oh why am i driving a lamborghini right now because we haven't heard <laughs> it. we don't we don't deserve it yet you know what yeah, i mean we, we, don't. we don't deserve it yet and then you work towards that and then once you get it the world has shown you that you you deserved it. I don't want to do that. They don't sit and think I have to change. They think, oh, he left me because it's him, and I lost my job because my boss, and this is his this loss. Of this. They, no, <laughs> you women don't look in the mirror and change a fucking thing. I don't Ever. Think, no, because Ever. don't forget what you're forgetting right nowadays. They can't change it because it's all about body positivity. Are you they saying? They can look sexy. <laughs> She's so good. Size. 28. Are you saying Lizzo's not a 10? I think I think that that Pearl girl I've seen her. I think she just trolls all the girls. She's, like, <laughs> she's super, I mean, she's super red pilled. Come on, who thinks Lizzo's a 10? Zero people. She's <laughs> she's, she's no. The girls think she's a 10. Are you guys trying to get me canceled? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not gonna lie. I don't agree with what you just said because 90% of cosmetic surgery is by women. Women are trying to change as much as possible. Men don't want to change. Men aren't getting cosmetic surgery, which means they're not accountable for themselves. What are you talking? Like, bro, you play the cards you're dealt. That, yeah. Like, like, that's not accountability. If you're fat as fuck, yeah. and you get cosmetic surgery, that's the opposite of accountability. You're avoiding your problem, which is being fat, which you can change by going to the gym, mm -hmm. and you're trying to, oh, I'll just get ab implants or something, or I'll just like, you know, whatever. I don't know. You'll do whatever dumb shit to like be, or I'll just get this or that it's like no just go to the gym yeah literally it's literally the opposite of accountability they Where? think that because because they're a man you're going to be attracted to them no like you can you can't be fat you stay at home you're just playing video games and you expect a woman to want to fuck you no she's not gonna who i don't know what man actually yeah. thinks this i don't agree i don't think i've I ever met agree. a dude that's just walking around like yeah man I'm, I'm obese i'm i'm short i'm fat i have no money and i play video games but why don't these girls love me like i've never met someone like that in my entire life i've, I've never not once 
I can imagine like a fat game where it'd be like, no, these guys always finish last. No girl ever <laughs> wants to talk to me. But that's delusion. Yeah. That's del it's not because nice guys finish last. Because you're fat. You have no job. D yeah. Shave that neck beard, bro. 